In today's video, the stars are out on the red carpet for the LA premiere of of the movie, Bob Marley, One Love. Make sure to watch this video to the end as we take you beyond the velvet ropes to catch the exclusive interviews with the cast and crew of the film on the red carpet.
lot of love in the, a lot of love in the air, a lot of love for Bob, and um, it just feels really nice, man. I learned everything I know about Bob, about his spirit, through them. It's like this film is because of the family. Um, I made the film with the family because the family were involved only, um, and it's been a joy. It's been a joy to get to know them and to share so many moments with them and you know the courage of them to share your really private things about Bob with me and that trust I'll cherish it for, for the rest of my life you know the music carries a, a vibration and um, he was a genius I can't explain it you know I tried as best as I could to understand music in 18 months and you know it's his whole life he put into his work I can't explain it all I know is that the feeling that transmits is, is, is one of a kind. Very special. It's been very, this whole journey bringing this, this movie to the world, the reaction, the, the, the process of filming it was obviously incredibly special. Having Ziggy, having the family, their blessing, they're on set every day. It was, yeah, it's great. I mean, everyone loves Bob. Everyone knows Bob Marley. I loved him throughout my teens, my 20s. He became this soundtrack to my life in the happy, high, party moments and the pensive moments so to be able to you know bring his story his music um, to learn about so much I didn't know about his life I didn't know the struggle the the, the fight he had to go through to get that message out there so uh, it's been a great I mean it's been a wonderful privilege to be part of and I'm so so happy to share it today it's great it's hard to, to kind of um, to really emphasize how important that was both in terms of the authenticity which that brought you know we had Ziggy every single day Producer, you know, he was very involved with the script development. Um, he would be in in the scene. Kind of, I'm not sure if Bob would say that, or I think Chris's dynamic was this. You know, very very important in terms of authenticity. Neville Garrick as well, Bob's art director there every single day. He was a real historical advisor for me, particularly um, Neville and Chris Chris Blackwell were very close, and so that was lovely to um, have Neville kind of as my access point to Chris. But more than more than more than the um, the kind of practical authenticity to have Ziggy particularly, who looks like his dad. You know. It really did feel magical. It felt like we had, not the, fam not the family, but Bob Marley himself, you know? It was like the music, the family, Ziggy. It, it felt like it just elevated the whole experience and very special. So I only sadly got a few days in Jamaica, but it was amazing. I've, I've been now three or four days when we shot and then I went back to the, for the premiere. That country's incredible and it feels, it does embody the message or you know that that inclusivity that warmth the cast the crew the way they accepted us and the way they're so proud of their their culture their music the, the energy the vibration of that of that country um yeah i've got to go back and not work i've got to go back on holiday because it's a very special place loved it it's exciting it's grand it feels really meaningful it feels like a it feels like history i mean it brought the authenticity it's it's bob marley's birthplace and it's where like all of the whalers and the ice trees came from so it couldn't have been done anywhere else i think because his music spoke truth and i don't think you can go around that or discount that at any point i feel like once you hear it it'll literally shift you and move you forward in a way that is good and beautiful yes because bob marlin whaler's music has no category it's just there it's universal for everyone because they're gonna see the truth and what reggae music really means to the people and what it really represented, how it brought people together, which is why it's called One Love. Yes, to honor my father, this definitely is an honor that, you know, thinking about it now, I didn't understand what I was supposed to do then, but now I know. Yeah, you know, and to be a part of this is gonna live on forever. So I feel really good. So yeah, yeah man. It's honestly one of the biggest honors of my life, I would say. I would also say this film is so much bigger than anybody on this planet. It's about a movement, it's about love, it's about oneness. And I think to be able to celebrate it on his birthday, I think it's a sign that there's a new birth happening for reggae music, for Jamaican music, for global music. It's a sign that um, something new is coming in the world, anchored in love, that's what I think. It brought so much authenticity to the film, being shot in Jamaica. A lot of the crew, majority of the crew that worked on the film in Jamaica were Jamaican. And even you know, being part of that and seeing people that I've known for so long 
in the film and entertainment industry contributing to this. I think it also brought a different soul to everything, even the food, the um, the off, the vibes offset, the music that we would play behind the scenes. All of those things added to the vibration of what you see on film. You need to go see One Love on Valentine's Day in the theaters. Reason being because. There's one thing about love, if it starts from here, it spreads throughout the world. And what you'll see is that Bob Marley loved people, but he learned to love himself in the process of the film. He discovered who he was, which helped him to become the legend that he is. So if you want to be a legend, go watch One Love on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, well, we, you know, family, we do things together. That's how we grew up. And so it's only natural that it continues for, for every generation. Well, people love Bob because of who Bob is, as a person, um, down to earth. He's one of us, he's one of the people, and that helps his music carry on. Yeah, the movie is called One Love, and you know, it's called One Love for a reason. Strong love in it, you know, so Valentine's Day is a perfect day to share this love. It's just so amazing. Everything that my grandpa did for Jamaica and did for the world is being celebrated tonight, so it feels amazing, and happy birthday, Bob. His message is for the freedom of all people, the liberation of all people, and I think deep down that's what we all want, so hopefully we can get there one day. I think so many of our talents are illuminated by working on this movie. I have cousins who are in the movie, I was an extra in the movie, my dad was like a producer, but he was so hands-on as well, so it's just really inspiring to see everyone in it and showing all of our talents. Yeah. My father is Junior Marvin, Bob Marley's lead guitarist, and I, I had to represent to the fullest for my father because I've always been told I'm his actual twin, and I wanted to, for that to be transpired in the, in the film, for his authenticity to be transpired from the way he plays the guitar to the way he talks and the way he walks. This music is, is still being listened to today, it's still being the best message today because it has a message of God, it's job music and God's music is always going to live on, you know what I mean? Bob Marley, he, he's something about Bob Marley that's as natural as the mystic, you know? It's a great thing, it's a surreal moment, it's, it's destined and to be able to tell this story, I'm just happy to be a part of it, man. Carlton Barrett is activated. I feel like, you know, the human experience always comes with struggle and his music has been a high point of functionality within that help us to, you know, deal with it. And we give thanks for that, you know. I just, just find out what Bob is. We all love his music, you know, without a question. And just to get a glimpse of why he was so iconic. Like I said, the human experience. Today we have young people who are more conscious and they need, they need a music to help them along this conscious, this conscious wave right now. I think just because what his message is all about love and unity and being a good human and that's something that we could always use a reminder of, especially in times like now. Ah, I mean so much. I mean, I feel like, again, his message is so universal and so long lasting and it's amazing for a new generation to really be able to embrace it, but also have the context of his life and his story. I feel like when I was a kid, I heard his music just like, you know, around because it's so ubiquitous, but I feel like now people are able to hear a little bit more about who he was as a, as a man and I think that's important as well. I feel so honored to be here. Just to celebrate his birthday, usually that's a big thing in my household, but to be here, to like launch the film here, it just feels like a blessing. I play young Rita Marley, and for me that is probably the most honorable role I could ever play. I grew up in a Rasta household, so it was Bob Marley and the Wailers, nothing else. We listen to true reggae music through and through, and so it's just an honor. I feel really privileged to be able to represent the Rasta community, especially as a young black girl, I think growing up I never saw us represented and it's actually one of the reasons why I started acting. So for this to be the kind of role that I'm playing, I just, I think it's absolutely divine and I'm glad that I'm part of sharing the message. I think it's amazing. I also feel like who hasn't heard his music? But I feel like, especially for the younger generation who are coming up, for them to also recognize the songs, but also now have like a face as well to put to it. It's just, it doesn't get more legendary when you talk about music and impact and culture than this. I think it was paramount that they were a part of it. It's crucial. We couldn't make the, f the film without them. And it's just nice to have their support. I don't know if you've spoken to Ziggy yet, but he just speaks with a smile. And he's always so warm. And so seeing him on set was just like a, I don't know, it was like a big hug. We weren't hugging, but it felt like a hug. It's a privilege. It was a privilege when the script came to me. It was a privilege to, 
direct the film. It was a privilege to work with the family and obviously celebrate tonight with our friends and our family and everybody here in LA. Uh, just an honor. It was amazing, man. It was like having an extension of real Bob on set. His mannerisms, his disposition, his toughness. Uh, Ziggy's tough, man, and it was great. It was like a big brother on set, so it was wonderful. It's his music, his message, man. It's what he was saying about. He was saying from a really deep place of carried a, carry a heavy burden for all of us to enjoy. So hopefully this film brings us closer to his lyrics. Well, obviously the music, number one, right? You're going to get that big, powerful 5171 sound, hearing Bob better today than it did when it was first recorded. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all about the message, man. It's all about the message. He's one of my absolute heroes. Obviously, this film celebrates the incredible Bob Marley and his legacy. Um, for, to, to join this incredible talented cast, even for a split second, to play one of my rock and roll heroes. You know, there are no small parts as far as I'm concerned when it comes to uh, representing music, representing uh, Joe and the Clash and ska and reggae. So a real honor to be, uh, to be mentioned and to join the cast, man. I mean, music is the great connector. Uh, it, his music just transcends genre. It transcends time. It transcends um, borders. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it will be there forever. And I think, you know, his music is even more prevalent right now in his messaging and what the world needs a little right now is one love, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and so that's it. I mean, look, Bob's life, uh, he, he lived many different lives and to try and and consolidate that into two hours is a tricky thing but to do that with the blessing of the family to do that with the uh the people that were there at the time you know the, the attention to detail has been incredible you know I, I was only there for a very small moment in london but i know that you know they just went above and beyond in terms of being respectful to the family uh and being uh historically so specific which is pretty damn cool. You guys got to see One Love in the theater on Valentine's Day. It'll give you that feeling, it'll bring that energy, it'll bring the music of Jamaica and Bob Marley straight to your heart. You don't want to miss it. Originality, I would say, one word, originality. Originality and his passion for the essence of life, you know what I mean? And with that kind of energy, you tend to resonate with life itself, creating a general harmony. And that's what Bob Marley has, man. Wow, that was beautiful to have Ziggy Marley on set telling me what to do. <laughs> it was a cool vibe, man. Um, Ziggy, Ziggy is patient, he knows what he wants. And I have always watched him since I was growing up from the Melody Makers. And I'm a big fan of his music. So seeing him behind the camera in a production chair, it gave me a whole different respect for the man. Yeah, man, real vibe. Look forward to a love story. Look forward to, I find, heartstrings being pulled upon. Yeah, man. So, yeah, all right, listen, folks, you need to go out and watch Bob Marley One Love on Valentine's Day in the theaters because, hey, the essence of it is one love. It's an absolute blessing. I haven't been in LA for a while, but just being here for Jamaica, for Bob Marley on his birthday, it's a phenomenal occasion. And I'm, I'm just a blessed person to be here today. Well, authenticity. Um, there's nothing like travelling down where Bob Marley was, all the places he's been. And I think when people watch this movie, they're going to see Jamaica in a way they haven't seen Jamaica in a while. And I don't remember the last film that's done anything like this for the country. It's all about the messages. His message is about love, uniting people. And I think no matter what hardships you go through, anywhere you are in your life, there's a Bob Marley song that you can play to get you in the right spirit. And I think when he was rec recording his music, being Jamaican is all about love, cooking food, drinking enjoying each other's company, all about family, and I think that just ran through his music, you know? You're gonna see Bob Marley in a light you've probably never seen before, but most importantly, you're gonna see all of the people um, that were integral to his message being pushed around the world. The respect, the love, and his commitment to, to the culture of the world and to our culture as a, a people, and um, as I say, my culture is my religion, so I'm very happy to celebrate Bob Marley's life. Without question, people need to know that and never forget it. But more than just talking about it, we got to be about it and do about it. I mean, to be a Jamaican, to be an actor, to have been able to be a part of this movie, to portray the strong woman that was so important to Bob as she was, I, 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 I struggle to find the words. It, it, words seem kind of 
I don't know, irrelevant at this point. It's just a feeling and I'm just so elated, so proud. And to be here on his birthday, I mean, what do you say? <laughs> oh, to have the family be a part of it was everything because you knew that they were going to make sure that it was right and that they were going to make sure it had the dignity that it deserved. I mean, it was incredibly essential to have to have the family's involvement, you know, really in every step, both for the, you know, veracity of the filmmaking. I think Ziggy was a huge part of the production, not just like as a producer and as an advocate for his father, but really getting involved in the creative of the story and, and helping us with the script and the dialect and the characterizations. And I think even more than like other films, true stories that I've worked on, it, this one was incredibly essential to have the family involved and, and we're very happy that they were. It was very important, I think, you know, for Ray and I and, and really all the filmmakers involved, you know, I think we knew that the film would would kind of live or die with whether or not we got the atmosphere, the culture, all of those things correct. And so, you know, we, that started for us, like, on, on the page and making sure that we had, had done the research and, and that the right people were involved that could really inform to making sure, it, you know, it felt like we were landing the audience in 1976 Jamaica and, and have that feel accurate. And I so, you know, obviously we did a ton of research, but then the production design and everyone involved was, was really top notch in making sure it all happened. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.